Dear Ned, Austria has been wonderful so far. Dad called. He wants me to get an old relic while I'm here. The Book of Apologies, which dates back to the 17th century witch trials in Salem. I'll be going to Mosam Castle to retrieve it before I head back to the States. It's said to be haunted, so I'm expecting some good scares and mysteries. Ever yours, Nancy. Feels like ages since I was on my last adventure. So, are you coming in? <laughs> uh, that's all right, Miss Drew. I prefer to stay out here. Why? It's so warm and inviting in here. <laughs> um. Yes, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All of Judge Sewell's effects are there, just as your father requested. Although, I will tell you, as I told him, the desk is locked, and I don't have the key. But I will gladly stay and answer any questions you have from the other side of this door. I recommend opening the window for some light. There's no electricity here. Well, in that room, at least. Much better. What a wonderful view. Oh, great. You know, that room used to be a prison cell. Mosam Castle was the site of the most famous and violent witch trials in Austrian history. <clears throat> The Salzburg Witch Trials predate the Salem Witch Trials by 17 years, actually. After the incidents in Salem, Judge Sewell willed his personal effects to be preserved by whichever museum would have them. And since we are the premier historical reference on witch trials, it ended up here. So, you've seen his book of apologies. The book written by Judge Sewell? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've never actually been in that room. You mind if I ask why? Is there something scarier in here than creaky floors? Well, let's just say that ghosts exist in this castle. And if they do exist, they definitely haunt that room. Ghosts? Hmm. Can't say I've ever seen one. But they are non-corporeal by definition. You said Judge Sewell was a pious man. Yes, he believed in the healing powers of the good book. Of course, the Bible was also used to justify executing people. Depends on who's reading it. It's often misinterpreted. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. Sounds like a man full of regret. Malleus Maleficarum. Wow. The hammer of witches itself. Gives me chills knowing what it did. Yes, indeed. A how-to guide for hammering out witchcraft. It was written in 1487 by a man whose name I won't even bother to mention because he used bunk science to send hundreds, if not thousands, of people to their deaths.
Dr. Hurst? Yes, yes, I'm here. Austria is wonderful. I do enjoy it here myself. I, I'm not from Austria. I was brought here by my work. The food is quite an experience. The pancake soup was great. Yes, the Frittatensuppe. The locals consider it traditional. How long have you known my dad? Oh, Carson and I are not that close. He reached out to me because I'm the historian keeping track of all the relics here. And, as he guessed, we should have the Book of Apologies... somewhere. Lucky I was already here on vacation. I was quite surprised when he called and asked me to come. Though I have to admit, visiting a castle is something I've never been able to turn down. Do you... do these kinds of things a lot? From time to time. What else can you tell me about the Book of Apologies? As I mentioned, it's the book written by Judge Samuel Sewell himself, detailing the names of people accused of witchcraft. Sewell was one of the very few judges who regretted his actions. The book became his way of finding redemption. Sewell himself was originally from England, but acted as a judge in the Salem Witch Trials. Do you perhaps know why Carson would need such a book? Just out of curiosity, of course, it's, it's just such a very unusual request. He's looking into it as a favor for the current judge in Salem. Oh. I'll get back to it. Take all the time you need. Some of this stuff looks very old. But it doesn't look like it's very useful. An old chest. But it won't open. But that's not really important right now. Is this Judge Sewell's desk? Ah, yes, yes, yes. That desk is where he spent most of his time working when he wasn't in court. Custom made. If the Book of Apologies does exist, he would have written it at that desk. And what's inside this alleged book? Your father didn't tell you? <clears throat> it was a ledger containing all the names of the accused witches from the Salem Witch Trials. Judge Sewell had doubts about his convictions, and he wrote the book as a means to... make amends. Allegedly. Yes. I found a letter. It's addressed to Abigail Hathorne Woodley. What does it say? I do regret to write to you in this state. I have been racked with guilt as my fervency of spirit was too great to determine a conviction just. He asks for her forgiveness and for God's. mean locked Locked. What a clever desk. It even comes with a labyrinth. <laughs> Easy. I found 
found it. It's here. What? Really? Amazing. It's locked behind some sort of cage, though. The lock says A W. Any ideas? A W? No. But I have some tools in the shop that might be able to cut it free. In my shop. I I'll go. Meet me there. Where is that? Hey, wait for me. Dr. Hurst? Nancy Drew, it's Deirdre Shannon. Deirdre, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of... Listen, I know we haven't exactly been besties in the past, but I'm in the middle of something big, and I... Deirdre, I have to call you back. Wait, wait, don't hang up on me! Elizabeth? Elizabeth! <gasps> hey, what are you doing? They took the book! Stop! Stop running! Which way they went. Must be a clue here. A ticket to Boston. This canister looks to have been used as a homemade smoke bomb. Same as the desk. <laughs> yes, Deirdre. What is it? You know where I am right now? Salem. Salem? As in, witch trial Salem? Obvi. Come on, Drew. My cousin has... Well, she's gotten into some trouble here. And I thought I could help her out. But it turns out this situation is much more complicated than I anticipated. So now, I'm calling you to ask for some... guidance. <laughs> you want my help? Oh, yes. Don't make this more painful. I could use your professional opinion, okay? Well, it so happens that the case I'm on is connected to Boston, which is just nearby Salem. And I was never a big believer in coincidences. Oh, are you sure? I'd love to. Seriously? I thought I had reached a dead end, but it looks like I have to go to Massachusetts anyway. In any case, a fresh perspective would do me good. Ugh, you're already annoying me, and you're not even here yet. <laughs> you're welcome. I think it might even be fun. Oh, this is so the worst idea I've ever had. I'll pick you up from the airport. I appreciate you coming here, Drew. I'm just glad you didn't change your mind and leave me at the airport. Might have crossed my mind. Keep the excessive cheeriness under control, and we'll be fine. Hmm. No promises. Where were you, by the way? Austria. Did I interrupt a vacation with Ned? Didn't you bring me here to help with a case? Yes, I did. And that's it. 
fire. Was anyone hurt? Happened in the middle of the night. No one was there, thankfully. The house wasn't completely destroyed, but the person who lived there had to move out. Just so we're clear, this is my case. I know you're a detective and everything, but this is personal. It's family. Well, extended. And from my father's side. But whatever, that's not the point. It's personal. You take my lead, okay? Of course. But? Well, I have done this a couple of times, Deirdre. And in my experience, we can cover twice as much ground if we work side by side. I, you know, respect your experience and whatever, but family trumps experience. It's sensitive, and I don't want you messing it up by being too... To what? To you. You're a question machine. This requires gentle handling. Delicate. <laughs> and that's been your approach. Well, like I say, I need help. So, can I ask some questions? Like anyone could stop you. Why don't we start with your extended family? They're cousins. The Perrys. P-A-R-R-Y. Oh, like in fencing. Yes. Tegan is the older one. May is younger. They've... They had a difficult childhood, okay? And now May is suspected of committing arson on the most important historic mansion in Salem. And I know it's not true. I know it. What can you tell me about May? She has a reputation as a troublemaker. It seems like a loner to me. Maybe a bit odd at times. Sometimes she can even sense things before they happen. Odd how? I don't know. Troubled teen stuff. Difficult time as a kid. Oddest thing is, she won't give an alibi. That would be seen as suspicious. That's the problem. Everyone is so suspicious of her. Prejudice, I guess. Because of... Well, you'll see. Sounds like we should talk to her soon. Where do you think we're going? What does Tegan think about this? She's worried about May, obviously. Tegan isn't like May. She's... upstanding. She works at the Salem Museum and doesn't know a thing about criminal cases. Which is why she contacted me. One more question. What can you tell me about this historic mansion? It's called... the Hathorn House. And it's old. Like, really old. And now it's been set on fire. Nothing else significant about it? Well, yeah. A lot of things. But one that's... Ugh, that's kinda why you're here. Which is why? The Hathorn House is haunted. What do you mean, haunted? Exactly that. There's ghosts. Deirdre. I don't believe it either, Drew. But I can't explain it. Everyone seems to think they exist. With so many sightings, even if it isn't real ghosts, something is definitely going on. I thought that maybe you can... disprove them. So, would you please get out of my car and come inside? If we're going to work side by side, you'd better learn to keep up with me. You must be Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. You know, you live in the same neighborhood for 20 years and you'd expect your neighbors to be a little more understanding when your family is falsely accused of a horrific crime. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Deirdre? I'm good, thanks. Tegan Perry, welcome to my home. Well, our home, although right now my parents are literally on safari in Namibia, so... While their daughter is being convicted of a crime she didn't commit, I'm taking care of things around here. They'll be home soon. Hopefully. 
A very expensive courier is tracking them down in the bush. Top notch, I found him on the internet. Deirdre tells me you'll be assisting her in clearing my sister's name. Assisting? Yeah. She's innocent. I don't know why she won't help herself. She's got... a difficult reputation. Well, you know, Deirdre, what people here can be like. She doesn't trust easily, not since... I'm sorry, are you hungry? There's clam chowder, homemade. A little taste of New England. I made up the guest bedroom for you, Nancy. Deirdre, sorry, you're bunking with me. Make yourselves at home. Oh, I almost forgot. After you girls get comfortable, you two should swing by the museum. Might as well take in some history while you're here, right? <laughs> Just don't get suckered into that witch's walking tour. Olivia Ravencroft is not a witch. She would have you believing all kinds of nonsense about the town being full of ghosts. I thought you two used to be friends. That was a long time ago. Look, I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Running late to an appointment. Thanks, Tegan. I appreciate you letting us stay. Before you go, do you have time for a quick question? Nancy, we just got here. Sorry, I know you're in a rush. It would really help. Of course, I have time for one question, if it'll help. What can you tell me about where the fire happened? What have you heard about it? Look, I appreciate you want help, but I don't want you dragging all that up and upsetting May. You told me she would be able to reach her. That's not the... That's not what Nancy is asking about. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I just thought since the Hathorn House is important to the town, you must know about it. Through the museum. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Hathorn House fire. Yes, John Hathorn was one of Salem's founders. His large house estate was the oldest surviving structure from 17th century Salem. Oh, is that all? Uh-uh-uh, that was two questions. I said one. <laughs> but yes, he was also the big-time judge that presided over the Salem witch trials. Is there some other fire I need to know about? No. May's accident was in a fire. I just don't want her getting upset with unnecessary questions about things long over. I understand. You can read all about Judge Hathorne when you come to the museum later. Gotta run. You jerk. Tegan said you've been in town for days, but you haven't come by. I know, I know, I know. I had to check in with your case at the, uh... Look, I didn't want to bother you. How are you holding up? Uh, I've been accused of worse. No, you haven't. Hey, at least I got you to get off your butt and finally visit me. Um... Oh, this is the girl I was telling you about. Nancy Drew. Nice to meet you. Oh. She really doesn't want to talk. This could be difficult. Any advice? Hmm. Do better? I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs>